What's up readers, it's Auth. Uh, we are back at it again, we're doing plat pushes again. Uh, I've been away from plat push scene for the past couple of months I'd say. I was doing the random push here and there but we haven't really pushed on the top top account. So when Sui approached me um, from my uh, clan, he said I will be away for the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year, uh, Happy New Year for everybody who's celebrating. And he, would, he said he would like me uh, to push. I generally do get offered to uh, push different accounts, but in Sui's case, we decided to take him up on it and we basically jumped on. So I'm going to be on this account for the next uh, few weeks. So the champions we generally ended up using was Turvold. Um, Turvold, main nuker, he's plus four on this account. He has fully awakening, so it's a bit of a no brainer. The only other plus four nuker is Baron. And he's slightly off meta right now, uh, a lot of stone skin, Baron not really doing much into stone skin. So I kind of left him out and I went with Turbo, which was really good. Um, the other big difference and the big change that we felt, especially for doing this reset, is the Blessing change. Because Blessings have been changed and they've been given more stats now. Every single Blessing has 8500 HP, 600 defense, 750 attack. So they basically leveled out all of the playing field for all of the stats which is great it's uh, it's really really good it means that you know you can run uh, defense nukers now you can run different sort of champions it's not mainly just attack based nukers are the best damage dealers so this kind of you know um kind of breaks it up a little bit which is nice the other champion i used was yumiko obviously yumiko is amazing uh she's really really good uh, and she worked really good with uh, shuzen because shuzen is faster than yumiko and what shuzen does is amazing uh, Shizen is really really good, I'm really impressed with her, I really liked her, I really liked playing with her, especially with the A2. Uh, the A2 is basically give an instant turn to your nuka with increased crit rate, increased attack and increased crit damage. That's fantastic. And then Yumiko goes after Shuzen, which means you can use this twice in the fight onto your nuka. It's really really good, um, Yumiko then resets her. This ability, when you have this ability available, it kind of turns you, um, Shuzen into a nuka. Right, because you can instant turn as soon as her turn meter fills up. It's the turn meter of uh, Turbo in my case that would just get f instant turn with the buffs. So this is incredible and is really really good. So I really liked her. She doesn't really let you feel like you're only running one nuka. If you have this ability available, you know it's coming back around next turn. You have her. You have Necrit ally attack, and then you have the Turbo his own turn so you feel like you've really got a lot of damage potential in you so when the marishka does the the pesky passive revive you can set up so where you have uh, shuzen a2 necre a ally attack and also turvid turbo uh, turn to you can keep an eye out on that too so i was highly impressed by her i think it was really really good the best build for her i would say would be a nine piece protection set i did not go with um i did not go with protection set this uh, this reset because on Sui's account protection set needs a bit of investment uh, there's going to need to be uh, glyphs sent into the protection set so I will be speaking to him and see if we can go ahead and uh, maybe put together a protection set with a good amount of speed on there Necrit, I've gone with Stone Skin Shield. Um, so we had a uh, shield set, which was I I really liked it. I thought it was bringing a lot of survivability to Turbo. You don't want your nukes dying. Taras's ally attacks do a ton of damage, um, but I wanted the Stone Skin on top of that. So I just went ahead and added four piece Stone Skin, four piece Shield. So we have enough survivability from the shield set, and we also don't get feared from Taras uh, on his passive at the start of the fight. You really want to ally protect Turbold again, or you want to go ahead and ally attack too. So you don't really want that one turn down or 50-50 chance of something just going wrong. So that's why the Stone Skin Shield has uh, been put on. But yeah, you guys enjoyed the uh, push. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like on the video, sub to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.